Hey, hi. I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for um, September 13th, 2024. It's Friday the 13th. It's like my lucky day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're not going into town or anything. We do have to go tomorrow because Brian's uh, haircutting appointment is then. But, um... So today we're just going to enjoy the day and it seems like the weather is nicer, not too windy, nice and sunny, things like that. I, I like it. I like it like this, you know. Um, this morning we went for our normal walk. You know, we go that way in the morning. We go that way midday and then we go that way again uh, before dinner. Yeah. And then I give them dinner, they have a chance to get hungry. And if I'm up to it, I'll take them on another walk. You know, it just depends on how I feel. But um, it's afternoon, so we did our walk that way. And I noticed that the one guy that I've been talking to is not even camped in his spot. Uh, I think I got to him. Yeah, it's okay. You know, and and also this time me walking away from here, I locked up my stuff. Because when I went to see him the other day, he's like, you leave your stuff open? I said, I always do. Because no one ever really messed with my stuff. But because he knows, now I feel, I was feeling a little uneasy. Yeah. Um, because his th way of thinking is not right. You know? <sighs> And uh, I even accepted his friend request on the Facebook, but I'm going to keep it there until I leave because I don't want any trouble from that person. Because he's an alcoholic, uh, they're unpredictable. So you can't really trust anyone who has alcohol addictions or drug addictions. I learned about the alcohol addictions from my own personal experiences that you really can't trust anybody who, who drinks because you don't know what they're thinking. They're, they're just, it's no. <laughs> and of course, drugs, you can't uh, trust anybody who is a drug addict. And another drug addict told me that straight up. And so I took that guy's word for it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to lay low. Because I almost didn't walk that way. Because I didn't want to. Because I didn't want to deal with this mindset the mindset is so bad and so off and um you know and by the time and, and, and you know this person knows i have youtube channels but i'm a month behind so this person knows uh you know that i have youtube channels but i will be a month away from here <laughs> by the time they go on there so I'm not worried about that, you know, because I, I always do. I talk about people that I experience out here, you know, um, because that's what's out here, you know, uh, a lot of broken people, a lot of people that are unwilling to deal with their addictions or their traumas. And that was the main reason I got on the road. Well, no, the main reason I got on the road is because I had a wild hair and I was like, I want to build a teardrop, even though it wasn't a teardrop. It was basically a box on wheels. <laughs> but then when I came out into the wilderness or out, you know, when I left, you know, you spend a lot of time alone and you spend a lot of time alone thinking and contemplating and, and things that you don't want to think about come up and you're forced to do to deal with them the problem with some people though is you know they get bad luck and they're forced to be out here because of their addictions or whatever but they don't conquer their addictions and, and what people don't know is you know addictions you know drugs alcohol that deteriorates your body okay that deteriorates your body. If you're in bad health, you're just making your health worse. And, um, but they don't understand that. You know, you, like I said before, you can only do so much for someone, you know, you can let them know and, and things like that. You know, this person has a lot of allergies, drinking alcohol and constantly smoking pot. It's not going to uh, help you. Okay. 
um, it's going to actually uh, intensify your ailments. So, you know, I mean, he has all these allergies, you know, and, and he's upset that why can't he get the help and this and that. And, 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 and I realize now, I realize now, you know, when you, if you go to the hospital sick or something, they're going to take blood from you. And they're going to find out that you have a problem, alcoholism or drugs. And they're just going to send you out, send you packing. And then the person's going to be like, oh, they didn't even help me. No, because you're drunk. You know, in the medical field, if you have addictions, nobody wants to help you because that is the cause of your health problems. Yeah. And most likely a lot of people have told this person, you need to stop drinking. You need to stop drugging. You need to stop doing this. But because they, they don't trust the system or whatever, they don't do it. And then they complain that no one wants to help them. You know, he says he has a very bad allergies. I realized yesterday when, when he left or that other day that he left, I realize that I have a really bad uh, allergy too. Uh, I am allergic to people who are addicted to alcohol and drugs, <laughs> basically, you know, no matter how much I want to help them. And I tell them that their life can get better if they stop doing that. I can see in their face and their eyes that they don't. And, and because I was being real firm with him about that, he thought I wasn't being compassionate anymore. So he's somebody who's looking for pity from people. No one's going to get it from me. I'm nice. I'm kind when I first meet people and I'm very motivating and all that stuff. But when you talk to them about important things like their health, and then they deny that they're, they're not doing anything wrong and that, oh, you're just being mean. That's somebody with a problem. You know what I mean? Like I came to grips with myself. I realized that I had a problem. And I took care of that problem myself. Nobody told me. Nobody told me. I just came up with that conclusion by myself. And that's what needs to be done here. You know, and and another thing I remember him talking about saying, oh, I need a sugar mom. Why? She's not going to make you healthier. She's just going to give you money. And then this person's complaining that they don't get enough money and they need, you know, that the government should help them have money to fix their car. You know, with all the money they could save by not doing alcohol and drugs, they could, they could gain enough money to fix their, their things, to fix a car or whatever the problem is. And then saying, oh, I, I want to go to Hawaii. Okay, sell that shit and go to Hawaii then. Stop complaining. S sell, sell his broken down vehicle. If, if, if it's so broken down and it's such a, a pain in the butt and you want to go to Hawaii because you think that the food is better and this is better over there, so go. Go and do it. Don't expect everybody out here to help you because you have a drug and alcohol problem and you know what I mean? I'm sure all the people out there who have been uh, had addictions before who might be watching my channel, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Right? You can't you can't reason with ignorance. You know what I mean? You really can't. And if you if a person is not willing to tackle the traumas and their issues, he has a, he does have a lot of potential, but he doesn't see it in himself. You know, it's, it's such a shame, you know, and, and, and this person is so upset at, uh, people who have money talking about, no, no, no. Talking about how, um, all these people, they have these billions and millions. If they could just donate, they don't need to donate. Why? If that person was born into a rich family, do you think he would donate? No. <laughs> And I even told them, I said, well, if you believe they should do that, then fix yourself, become a billionaire, and donate all your money to people who need help. He was silent after that. 
You know what I mean? I wasn't born into a millionaire family, billionaire family. I'm not complaining about it. I decided to get myself off of uh, drugs, alcohol, any kind of addictive behavior, except for the vaping, okay? I have to admit, I'm still vaping, and that's very bad for me, and I'm, I'm really trying to work hard on that. But once I stopped with my addictions, I realized, whoa, I have a, I have a lot more money. I can save now, you know? And, and life got better for me. Like once I left California and dropped all the addictions, my life was so different, right? I could focus on my traumas um, and, and, and him, you know, talking about, oh, I have nightmares and I can't sleep. So do I. So do I. I have physical ailments too. And I have pain too. But there's ways of dealing with that. You have to meditate, you know, maybe exercise more. For sure, eating right. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to, people don't want to do that. You know, it's it's very sad how we have it out here. Everybody thinks that everybody owes them. How? You know? Oh, because I'm sick. Okay, well, they're going to help you enough to get you by and to help you. But it's up to you to do the rest. Now, if you're like in the military or you work for a company or something like that and you get dramatically hurt there, okay, compensation should be rewarded. But if you're just a person out here who's allergic or sick to something and then you become an alcoholic and drug addict, how do you figure that anybody is, you know, obligated to help you? How? You know what I'm saying? It's a shame. It's a shame. It's very sad. Very sad for some people. And so, you know, like I said, I can only do so much for someone, you know. I wasn't even considering to kick him down some dough. But you know what? Once I found out he was an alcoholic, that ex that canceled it out. Yeah, it canceled it out. I, 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 I don't contribute to anybody's addictions. No. If I knew that that person was like uh, drug and alcohol free and everything and, you know, they're just trying their heart. OK, I will help them. Mm -hmm. I would help them. But it's hard to even find that because half these people out here who are holding signs and doing this and do that money is being contributed to their addictions. Yeah, because if they really wanted to help themselves, they will. They would go through like the social services and take the courses and do the things they want them to do, you know, to get better. I, I did that before. I was on social services many years back. I took their courses and their classes. I did what I was supposed to do. And things got better. But people, they don't want to do that. They want the easy way. They just want money handed to them. He told me how much he gets per month. I spend less than that per month for my own personal stuff, for gas, for um, food, and, and things like that. I spend less than that per month. Yeah, I'm able to save money, you know, and, and all that stuff. But I do. I spend less than that per month. And, you know, when I was uh, smoking weed which, you know, I'm not against it if you use it properly, right? When I was smoking weed and I was out here on the road, I, you know, when I decided to stop, I didn't realize how much money I was wasting. Hundreds of dollars a month. And just by me stopping, I'm able to save that money. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, yeah. And, and I don't mind people to have a drink once in a while, but, you know, after a while, I come to realize that, you know, just recently even, just recently, that I don't even want to be around anyone who drinks at all. Mm -mm. Not even a beer. It's not, if you need a beer to relax, you're not for me. Mm -mm. Because you don't need beer to, how about a cup of tea? Nice, relaxing chamomile tea. That's nice. 
That's good for you. I have a lot of tea there. But if you need beer or alcohol to react to relax, you got issues. You got issues. I don't care if you're like, well, I only do it once a month. Or, I don't care. That's not an. That's just an excuse, you know. You know, I am trying not to be mean to anybody, but this is reality. This is truth. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, even though I was worried to walk that way, but I, I was thinking, you know what? I'm not going to let that person and his state of mind prevent me from doing things every day that I love to do, which is walking my dogs, getting some exercise. I enjoy that, okay? I'm not just because I knew that the guy would be parked over there. Uh, I'm not going to let that ruin my daily activity. And then when I walked there and I didn't see him there, I was like, oh, whew. You know, then I could feel like I could walk free and not worry, <laughs> you know, or have any kind of anxiety because that person gave me anxiety. Yeah. And uh, they also, he also made me feel paranoid. Oh, your stuff is, oh, so now when I leave the trailer to walk the dogs, I lock it up because what if he rolls around and robs me? Like, I can't trust him now. You know what I mean? The trust is, has been lost, you know? And, and and normally, and and I know this could be harsh, right? But anything that do, somebody does wrong to me, whether it's um, you know, try to fool me or try to manipulate me or something like that, you know, I'll be nice to them, but I don't want them in my life anymore. I don't want them to be in my presence anymore. I don't want to deal with those people anymore. You know, especially people who try to act like they want to be your friend and they're cool with you and they hang out with you. And the next thing you know, they're ignoring you or I don't that person is I don't want that person in my life. But but I don't want them to think that I'm being mean and, and this and that. So, you know, I try to be nice, you know, but I don't ever want to be around that person again. I don't want them to be Facebook friend. I don't want them to be anything because I don't want to be reminded of how toxic they are. Yeah. So that's why like I have to in, in order for me to delete that guy, I have to wait till I leave. I don't even go on Facebook anyways. I go on there sometimes to check some stuff out, but you know, I I just I have better things to do. I'd rather make a video for YouTube and talk to people about realistic stuff that happens out here. You know, we just have a lot of people who have a lot of hate in their heart. A lot of people that think everybody owes them. Nobody owes anybody anything. If anybody owes anybody something, you owe it to yourself to build boundaries, to be careful with your health, free yourself from addictions, conquer your traumas. Th that's what you owe yourself. Nobody out here is responsible for you but you. You know what I'm saying? But people, they don't, they just, I don't understand why they don't. Well, yeah, I guess I do. It's because of the addictions or refusing to heal from traumas and contemplate on things. You know what I'm saying? Um, because before I came out here, I thought everybody owed me too. But it was because I didn't, I didn't get over my traumas. But then once I did come out here and start traveling and being alone and thinking, I realized stuff, you know, and even though, yes, the people who hurt me, um, it's not my fault. And, you know, they don't owe me anything because those people are trauma and messed up anyways, as it is anyways, you know, you can't really blame somebody who's traumatized you because somebody traumatized them. The only thing about it is it's up to that person to realize those things so they don't cause trauma to others in the future. But unfortunately, most of the people out there, they don't realize that and they don't do anything. They just stay being toxic. Yeah, like my whole family, they're all toxic, terrible people. And, you know, I guess I can't blame them for hurting me. You know, and, and I've come to the conclusion that, you know, that it's just, that's how it is. I can forgive them because, you know, somebody did something to them and then they tried to pass it along to me, but I was strong enough to understand what was going on and to heal myself from that, 
forgive them and move on with my life. You know, I don't have to hang out. Like I said before, I don't have to hang out with them. I don't have to be with them. But in my own personal private space, I can forgive them and bring take my life somewhere else. You know, I'm not obligated to hang around or be best friends or whatever with people who were toxic. So, yeah. You know, and the only time these kind of videos come on is because, like, I'll meet someone and I'll totally see what's wrong with them. And then I'll try to talk to them. But then when they're just like, there's something wrong upstairs because they're drunk or high or whatever. Like I said, there's no, there's no reasoning with ignorance. You cannot, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the guy is so judgmental too, you know, and he's trying to act like he's not, you know, and people who go by, he's judging. He judged me. He thought I was homeless and hurting out here. No, we have people out here who are actually doing okay. And this is the life that we choose because we're enjoying ourselves right now. It's not because we're broke or we're poor or anything like that. I mean, no, you know, I can go somewhere and I can get an apartment or buy some land. I just don't want to. I'm not ready right now. I'm still enjoying myself. And anyways, I would never buy land in Arizona. No way. It's, you know, it's not my type of place. Any place close to California is not my kind of place. <laughs> because California is so toxic and I feel like all the toxicity is bleeding over into the surrounding states no I'm good I'm good you know I just want to go somewhere in the country somewhere where there's not a lot of businesses where it's like country town small little that's what I like you know and you know I'll find it just not right now I'm just not feeling to do that right now it's coming up soon though <laughs> But yeah, you know, that's that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I should have probably done a chit chat because look, I'm already a lot of minutes here. But it is what it is, you know. But today is a lucky day, you know, feeling good. Uh, you know, people like that who are so unhealthy and all this thing, you know, they make me feel like wanting to exercise more, eat better and, you know, elevate my life more. You know, I mean, I'm grateful to that guy. Because he makes me feel like I want to be more focused on my own health. Because I see how bad his is. You know? Kind of like... Now, you know, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to be honest. Kind of like when I see people who are heavy and complain about their health problems and all these things. Yet they're not doing anything. It's like... Uh, they make me want to diet and exercise. <laughs> I remember going to Thanksgiving one time, and my sister was there, my mom was there, and they were just shoveling the food down so much, and they're heavy, and that just made me, like, lose my appetite. Yeah, it's kind of like that, you know? And, and what people don't understand, the more weight you lose, the healthier you get. Oh, you're just fat shaming. No, I'm not. I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm being honest. I have to keep my weight down because if I don't, my back is fucked. <laughs> Seriously, it's bad enough right now. If I gain a little bit of weight, oh, I can feel it in my back. It's so painful. I have a back injury, you know, but I do things to try to help me. I'm not going to go to the store and buy a fifth of liquor and start drinking that so I don't feel the pain. No, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to cut down on food so I can lose weight. I'm going to exercise more. No matter how much pain I'm in, I'm going to do it because I know that after a few days or even a week or so of doing it and the weight goes down, I could feel my back not in so much pain. Yeah. Just some advice for those of you who are overweight, who claim to be in such bad health, can lose the weight and see how your health gets better. Do what you can. If when I see like videos of women, they're like the transformation from so many pounds to this, man, thumbs up to all of those women. 
yeah, proud of those women. And the men, I've seen men transformation too, because they realize, they realize if they get their health better, lose weight and things, they're going to feel better. Yeah. Anyways, that's all I have. This is way too long. Uh, but, you know, I, I hope I, I, I reached out to somebody out there to help you realize um, if you're pissed off at me for anything I said, it is what it is. My bad. I'm sorry. Well, no, not my bad. I'm just being honest. You know, and, and you couldn't say anything. Like I told that guy, you could say anything. You, you're, She's a bitch. She's an asshole. She doesn't care. It's okay. If that's what you want to think, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It's not the first time I've heard those things. I've had somebody call me those things before. And they're just words. You know, sticks and stones, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for you. I'm Mona. This was Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for uh, Friday the 13th, my lucky day, September 13th, 2024. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.